Okay, uh, Arvin, restricted products on Amazon. What are what are restricted products? Of course, we know like there's kind of the, you know, of course, they're not going to allow you to sell like, you know, any kind of weapon or anything like that. But what what else do you classify as a restricted product on Amazon? I'll, I'll, I can give one example I know of if you want me to. Yeah, go on. Okay, well, I sold one of the products that I almost sold on Amazon. Well, I almost tried to sell was a lock picking set. Because I, you know, I went on and I was doing my product research, you know, to pick a, a door lock. So, you know, it was supposed to be a lock picking mm -hmm. training kit for if you wanted to become a locksmith. But of course, if you're also doing maybe something more nefarious, like a criminal activity, you could you could also use that product. So on Amazon, though, these like and I'm sure even today, there's only a couple sellers and these there's like massive volume for it. And there was like, you know, the opportunity score from like Helium 10 or whatever was like amazing. It's like a nine or 10 out of 10, which you never see. So I got like a sample from um, my, you know, from Alibaba or whatever, got that. And then I started to kind of like, I was about to get ready to actually go do it. And I realized, oh my gosh, I actually can't create a listing for this because it's a restricted product. There's yeah. only, you know, there, and I don't, I still don't know how you get to, I think you have to have some kind of like, credentials and I, I i'm not really sure how they go about that process but that's an extreme example like what are some other examples of restricted products that you normally see well actually if you go to the amazon help page there's a there's a huge list of like what do they classify as uh, restricted products but just for the sake of making this video concise is i mean like I can uh, think of right now is a product that is on the uh, like pesticidal classification or also in the um, anything that has health claims in it. Also, um, yeah, there, there's a lot. Uh, it, it just just maybe we could just focus on those two, like supplements and having claims and or or even some some listings claiming that they are like organic. Um, yeah. Yeah. On those on those three sections but there's a lot it's a long list in amazon if you will look this that up um yeah have, well, um, i just was just pulling it up over this. here like there's a it pretty much there's mm -hmm. just you know a lot of and i'm actually i'm looking at a blog post on ecom engine that's just showing all the different categories that have restricted products in them right and you have see stuff like exactly what you were saying dietary supplements even electronics mm -hmm. You know, export controls, food and beverage, gambling and lottery, you know, their jewelry, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, the the thing I, I I wanted to kind of bring up is like there's a difference between you as a seller actually selling a restricted product, which most likely Amazon's either gonna take down and prevent you from selling, unless yeah. you have like documentation you need to prove that you're allowed to, or you're not even gonna be able to create that listing and start selling it. Now, the problem from what I've ever seen, you know, aside from my, my lock picking experience is working with sellers who maybe have a product who, um, that actually is not restricted, but it gets flagged as a restricted product and taken down. And those are really where the kind of, we get a lot of calls or where people really need help because you, you know, you're losing revenue, your product's been flagged. Maybe you have a product that gets flagged yeah. multiple times. I'm, you know, there's, um, we always see that the, the kind of CBD category that they get flagged all the time, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, what are what are kind of like the steps that you see when that happens that maybe a seller should go through to get their products reinstated? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's different ways per per category or per type for types of um restriction. Right? So just just to make this one not too complicated, let's talk about um a product that has a health claim in it. Because uh, yeah, for for that one to uh, for you to kind of activate the the deactivated listing, you have to go through the list of like what what on your product title do you have a claim or a health claim in it, your um, bullet points, your product description, or even your A plus content. Review that and even your um, product images because Amazon they have this um, AI or rather uh, AI the algorithm that detects any health claims even on the images. And that kind of um, pushes their system. Okay, you're violating the the TNCs of Amazon. Then we will deactivate this listing. So what we will do then? I um, mean, me personally, what I'll do is just try to so to edit the listing and make an upload by a flat file, so so that I can um, trigger the system that I am actually trying to uh, do an edit 
this manual edits right now will not work. Like if you call to like an Amazon support and tell them that, hey, yeah, I know that I violated something. I've added a whole comment on my listing, but I actually edited it. I did the manual edit earlier. Amazon will ask you, what's your evidence? So uh, because cause it sometimes it, it will not really reflect on the onto your catalog or onto your managed inventory yet. So you have to upload the flat file, provide them the flat file and tell them that, okay, this is what I did. If you can see it, if you can make your listing as generic as possible, then right. it will, um, you know, make it faster to be reactivated. And then also going back to your images, check if you have anything, because especially your lifestyle images, just check if you have anything mm. there that um, is violating the TNCs of Amazon, then delete that image and call Amazon again. Like if you can upload that image via flat file as well, that's much greater because at least you have evidence, you have the batch ID so that you can, because uh, I, I, me, I'll try to avoid talking to the first level of support. I'll, I'll try to actually talk to the, yes, oh, like have the, quick conversation with the first level and ask them, can you please uh, transfer this call to your leadership team? Because I need this one to be activated ASAP. And yeah. this is what I've done already. I that's the troubleshooting processes. I just need someone to look at it. So normally, you know, just to kind of recap yeah. that, it's it's a, it's a lot of stuff that we, 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 we've talked about too over the years is like first kind of sanitizing mm -hmm. your listing, you know, sanitize the listing. Yeah. So essentially just try to make it as bare bones as possible. Especially these get triggered also if you've just gone through and made a listing update, like maybe you add a new images or this and that. That's when we see a lot of people have them. But it can also just be it's you've had that maybe a, a keyword in there like antibacterial in the listing and it didn't get flagged yeah. for the first like three or four months. I've seen that happen before. So sanitize your listing, try to get rid of any of those kind of keywords or images that might be flagging it. And then you can and you and then you can of course then make any changes and upload your flat file to show you have a batch ID and show proof. And then that's where you can escalate it then to the kind of seller support stage. Is that accurate? Yeah, Did I miss anything? Important. That, that's accurate, actually, as you said, that there are some uh, listings that actually not, like in the past were not flagged, like doing fine. And it's just important to note that sometimes the reason for flagging is actually the updates on Amazon's policy. Like, I remember back in 2021 that they are not that strict when it comes to having um, claims onto your supplement listing. And they started implementing it, if I'm not mistaken, July of 2021, that a lot of health supplement listing that, uh, you know, they activated Amazon, like, like, took yeah. them down. And uh, yeah, so uh, even with toys category early 2021, that they started asking for um, child, ch children product safety and um, tests document to provide to amazon you know with right. all of this uh, amazon is always changing they sometimes yeah. they will implement uh, a lot of policies that, that will only affect specific states so you have to um yeah be up to date as well on what's going on inside amazon so that you can be prepared yeah so there's absolutely. a lot of things actually and and there are also some um you know hijackers mostly your competitors just so that they know what are the keywords that amazon will not like and turn down the, the listing. So the, what they will do is mm -hmm. try to hijack your listing by adding them on their own selling account and they'll do everything to actually, yeah, it's just, just to add Mess you the keyword in there. Right. Yes. That is yeah, true. so there's lots of things that can happen. But um, yeah, it's uh, never fun. You know, don't sell restricted products. But if you do get flagged as a restricted product when you're not selling, you can get it fixed. It just takes time and kind of some elbow grease to get in there. So... Uh, I think that's good for this one, Arvin. Anything, any kind of last comments or thoughts to add? I mean, I think that's honestly at the high level. That is how you resolve restricted product related issues. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up now because I know that if I continue talking, it will like go another ten minutes. So uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if anyone <laughs> has questions, uh, we'll leave them in like here. the comments under this video or wherever you're watching this, and then maybe Arvin can chime in. All right. Thank you. Well, we'll move on to um, the next video.